These are some interesting facts about the foods you consume by, by Jasmine by, and by Isa. The terms key. The, these are the terms that are going to be talked about in the presentation, just in case you need to know what they are. So the first word is endurating, which is a food that is high in nutrients, but re relatively low in calories. They contain vitamins, minerals, complex carbohydrates, lean protein, and healthy fats. The second word is fullness factor. There are foods that contain large amount of water, dietary fiber, and high protein. The next one is Lacy index system that rates food from 1 through 100 based on the blood sugar levels. The level one, the index, the faster our sugar is spiked. spiked. Vitamins is any group of group, any, uh, <laughs> any of a group of organic compounds that are essential for normal growth and nutrient are required in small quantities in the diet. The next word is minerals, it, which is a solid inorganic the substance of natural occurrence. The other one is fats and, nat <laughs> and natural oily or greasy substance according to animal bodies, especially when this dopeed animal as a lawyer under the skin or around certain organs. The next word is carbohydrates. Food consisting of or containing a lot of carbohydrates. <laughs> The protein. last word is protein, which is nitrogenous organic compounds that consist of large molecules composed of one or more large chains of amino acids, which are living organisms. Not literally, but yeah. Our first category is the healthy foods, which are most nutritious. The ones that are good for you. Our first food is kale. This food is low in calories, high in fiber, and has zero fat. Considering kale having an ND score of 5 out of 5, it provides a low glycemic index, containing good sources of proteins. Also, kale is very recommended to be consumed. Vitamin K with the 684% and only 547 MCG and 134% in vitamin C. Regarding its nutrients, it contains support that helps with hair growth and healthy skin. Our next word, our next word, our next food is garlic raw. This food is 4.6 out of 5 on the NG rating with a good source of vitamin C of 71%, vitamin B6 with the 84% and mag magnesium of 114%. Garlic can combat sickness like the common cold. Also, this food is very low in saturated fat and cause and culture which is good for the car to our, ne our next one is mushroom raw why raw mushrooms are a 4.5 out of a 5 on india and a 40.5 on fullness factor meaning on daily percent values vitamin c is a two percent on the 1.5 mcg and a 30 percent on the vitamin d which means that this food is low on Stratulated. Stratulated fat. <laughs> so, although this food can help boost your immune system. This just basically means that the food is healthy for you and not as unhealthy as the rest. The next food is kiwi. Kiwi is a four point is a four point zero out of the five ND scale. This food is very low in saturated fat, cholesterol, and sodium. It's also a good source of dietary fiber, vitamin E, potassium, and carbon, and a very good source of vitamin C and vitamin K. Kiwis Kiwi are small fruits that pack a lot of flavor and plenty of healthy benefits. Kiwi is extremely excellent source with a folate 11% among with a 42%. 44.2 MCG. Having kiwi on a daily basis can be very good help on risk of blood 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 clouding. Kiwi is a good benefit on maintaining a good healthy skin. Ki eating kiwi once in a while can really help you on preventing a health heart disease. Our next category is min level foods, which are moderately nutrients, which is from 3.5 to like four. Watermelon. This food is a very low on cholesterol, saturated fat, and sodium. The ND rating this food falls on on is a three point eight out of the meaning. It's, it's moderate. moderate. The only negative thing about this food is contain it contains a large 
portion of calories that come from sugars, which is, which means that it can easily, it's a, it's a bigger risk of um, getting diabetes. So don't eat it log. Our next food is avocado raw. This food falls in the moderate because it has an ending of 3.4 out of 5. In a one serving cup, the amount per serving has 384 calories and a total of 20 G of carbohydrates. This means that avocados contain a healthy type of unstratulated fat that lowers your your cholesterol. Eating this food can help reduce the risk of heart disease and diabetes. Read that word, reduce the risk. Also, it contains antibiotics, which are often brought up. In- oh, damn it, I didn't finish this one! <laughs> Keep going. Oh, Keep no. Going. We have to no, 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 no. Keep going. No, I'm not going to talk when I said that. Oh. I Is didn't that finish missed? the slide. Right. No, keep going. No, I said that. I'm not going to send it in like when I said that. It was so okay. good. Pineapple raw extra sweet about <laughs> Raw pineapple is a 3.2 out of the 5 ND schedule. Schedule? What the? Scale. Scale. <laughs> pineapple contains high amounts of vitamin C and magnesium. Magnesium. This food is very low in sodium, but it's also a good source of what? Dietary fiber, <laughs> thiamine, vitamin B6, and carb, copper, and very good source of vitamin C and magnesium. <laughs> Pineapple is an excellent source of a selenium of 1% among with 0.9 MC as well with the vitamin B6 of 52. Our next category is the unhealthy foods which are very bad for you. They're low nutrition, they can cause you diabetes, you can die of this. Don't eat these. Um, You can eat them but not on a daily basis. Don't eat them a lot. Our first food is banana. And I know you would think, oh I thought bananas are healthy for me. but they are, but you can't eat them as much. Plus, this food doesn't actually... Um, that good for you, so don't eat it. It doesn't actually affect everyone as badly as you think it would. Raw okay. banana is a 2.8 out of 5 on the aging, on the egg, and in the ND scale. Banana skyslimic index is 18, which is not excellent. So eating too many and not maintaining proper dental hygiene practice can lead to tooth decay and possible complications with diabetes since it's full, so full, much full of sugar. This food is very low in saturated fat, cholesterol, and sodium. It's also a good source of dietary fiber, vitamin C, potassium, and magnesium, and very good source of vitamin B6. I had so much words. I know so much percentage, so much vitamins, protein, but... It's Trust important me. to know these you know this. facts. Yes. Thank you for your time. Next slide. <laughs> Brown rice with vegetables. Brown rice is a 2.8 out of the 5D and schedule. Why do I keep... This food is low in saturated fat and very low in cholesterol and sodium. I'm saying that word so wrong. It's also a very good source of <laughs> adding steamed vegetables and whole grains such as brown rice to your daily meals is a good strategy to help keep you healthy and disease free. Brown rice is <laughs> brown rice is extremely sourced with the twelve percent of sodium among with the four hundred twelve MG. 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 Our next food is bread wheat. Wheat bread falls in it as 2.8 out of 5 in the ND scale and a glycemic index of 7. Besides the percentages, this food is very low in saturated fat and cholesterol with a 0%, which means that it's not healthy for you. Don't eat it. Yes, you can. <laughs> Fish raw. This food falls in 2.7 out of 5 in the MD rating. It is very low in sodium with a 4%, but very high in cholesterol. With a forty-eight percent good source in vitamin B twelve and it. Psyllium. Psyllium fish is also filled with <laughs> omega three fatty acids, which is a good benefit because omega three, fun fact, are proteins that help your brain. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Our next food is sardine. Sardine falls in the categories where it wouldn't be considered completely healthy because the ND is a 2.7 out of 5. This food falls. This food is high in cholesterol, which isn't great. On the other hand, it's a good source in calcium and 
phosphorus. How do you say that? Almonds. Almonds is a 2.1 out of the 5D schedule. Scale. Almonds contain lots of healthy fats, fiber, protein, magnesium, and vitamin E. This food is very low in cholesterol and sodium. It is also a good source of vitamin E. Um, almonds are extremely source of a vitamin B6 with the 4% among a 0.1 and Janet 41 Forty-one percent of fiber with the one sixty-six MCG. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza is a two point two out of a D and skin. This food is a good source of sodium. Pizza is healthy, but can also also it can be unhealthy. It's also depending on the type of the crust that amount of cheese and the top used. Pizza can be away with nutrient. Yeah. Nutritional descent to a diet disaster. Pizza is excellent source of vitamin B6 of 11% among with a 0.2 MC. G. Our next fruit is tomato juice. Tomato juice is 2.1 out of 8, 5 in the, on the AMD scale. This is a very low in saturated fat as well in cholesterol. It's also a good source of vitamin C. Benefits of the tomato juice steam from the tomatoes rich vitamin, mineral, and contact. Tomato juice is an excellent source of the sodium of 5% among with 109 MCG. Shrimp. Shrimp is a 2.0 out of the D in schedule. This is, is, this is a good source of protein and vitamin B12 and a very well with sodium. This food is a very high cross. I don't know how to say it. Shrimp is fairly low in calories and provides a high amount of protein and healthy in fat and additional in a relatory of vitamins and minerals. Shrimp is extremely source of lower of 4% with the money, 13.3 and CG. Our next food will be eggs. This food is 2.0 out of 5 on the Andy rating. As you can see, this food is pretty low. This food is very low in saturated fat with a 0% fatty acids cholesterol as well. It also has a good source of protein and selenium, but it's very high in sodium with a 70% and a 40, for, and 403 mg. Also with the amino acids, with the amino acid source of 145 out of 100, which involve proteins. And that just means that the number is too high and it's not healthy for you. Our next food is McDonald's hamburger. This, this food, food ranks 1.8 out of 5 of the ND rating. This food contains trans fat with a 1% vitamin A. Although everyone loves to eat burgers, having trans fat elevates the risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Hear that word, elevates. It diabetes. Is, a burger is, with a double fat <laughs> contains a 1G to 2G of trans fat. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are a 1.8 out of a VDN schedule. The nuggets are like in center among the vitamins, minerals, fiber, and I don't know how to say that, and healthy fats. This food is a good source of protein. The chicken nuggets have a 6% of satter fat among with the 70% of And that, my friends, was the last food. So please listen to us and... Eat the foods that are recommended for you, which are in the beginning. Don't eat Thank a lot you. of chips. Thank you. Days. Bye. Thank you for your time. I wait for